Let's look at self-exercise 4.3 question 1. So the question states that without using a calculator, which means that we can't use the calculator because we have to show the working. So find the value of each of the following. So before that, we need to know what is the formula. So the formula for NPR is equals to N factorial over N minus R whole thing factorial. Okay, let's solve for A. 5P3 means it's 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 whole thing factorial which is equals to 5 factorial over 2 factorial, which is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. Why I list down under 2 factorial? Because I can cancel out the top and bottom 2 factorial. Okay, so equals to, so 5 times 4 is 20, times 3 is 60. So answer is 60. Okay, let's solve for B. 8P7 equals to 8 factorial over 8 minus 7 whole thing factorial so equals to 8 factorial over 1 factorial and we know that 1 factorial is equal to 1 okay so 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so equals to 40,320 and this is the answer for B let's look at C 9P5 okay equals to 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 whole thing factorial. So equals to 9 factorial over 4 factorial. So equals to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Because we can cancel off with the 4 factorial at the bottom. So top and bottom. So equals to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. And the answer is 15,120. Okay, let's look at D. 7P7. So equals to 7 factorial over 7 minus 7 whole thing factorial. So 7 factorial over 0 factorial. So we know that 0 factorial is equals to 1. Okay? So 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the answer is 5040. Let's look at question number 2. In a bicycle race, nine participants are competing for the first place, the first runner-up, and the third place. Determine the number of permutations for the first three places. So here we have n equals to 9, and we have three places, which means that r is equals to 3. So for this, we're going to use the formula n p r equals to n factorial over n minus r whole thing factorial. And this question is 9 p 3. So equals to 9 factorial over 9 minus 3 whole thing factorial equals to 9 factorial over 6 factorial equals to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. So we stop here because we can cancel with the 6 factorial at the bottom, top and bottom. And the answer is 9 times 8 times 7 is equals to 504. And this is the answer. Let's look at question number 3. So this question is very similar to question number 2 just now. A stadium has five gates. Find the number of ways three people can enter the stadium, each using different gates. So for here, we're going to use NPR. So N is equal to 5 and R is equal to 3. So number of ways we use NPR. So 5P3 equals to, so 5 factorial over 5 minus 3, whole thing factorial equals to 5 factorial over 2 factorial equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial then we cancel top and bottom so equals to so 5 times 4 times 3 is equal to 60 so the answer is 60 ways let's look at question number 4 find the number of ways to form 4 digit numbers from the digits 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 if the digits cannot be repeated so here we have 8 digits Okay, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we're going to form 4 digit numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have 8 to choose from. Okay, and we have 4 spaces only, which means that this one is 8P4, and it's equals to 8 factorial over 8 minus 4 whole thing factorial. So equals to 8 factorial over 4 factorial, and it equals to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial 
then we can cancel off the four factorial top and bottom so it equals to 1680 ways alternatively we can use another way okay so which is i'm going to draw four lines one two three four so for this for the first place so this is the first digit okay there are eight choices to choose from so which is two three four five six seven eight and nine so which means that there are eight ways for the first place then the second digit okay we have seven ways because one digit has already been used for the first place and then for the third place only left six ways because there are two digits already been taken for the first and the second place and then the last one will be five ways so therefore we times all together we also get 1680 ways that's the answer let's look at self exercise 4.3 question 5 an employee at a restaurant needs to arrange 10 plates on a round table so the keyword here is round table but the table can only accommodate six plates so find a number of ways to arrange the plates so for this the keyword is round so therefore we have to use the formula npr over r because the sequence matters so equals to so 10 so n is equals to 10 and r is equals to 6 so 10 p6 over 6 so it's equals to so 10 p6 is 151,200 and over 6 and the answer is 25,200 ways and this is the answer